since you brought it up. I'm holding here my formerly nicotine stained fingers from uh, a website called the uh, the New Atlas. I got it off Drudge. Is the sandwich a climate change culprit? Scientists, scientists at the University of Manchester in England have found a surprising global warming culprit, sandwiches, in the first study of its kind. In the first study of its kind. Remember, somebody decided that they wanted to study the effect of sandwiches on climate change. That means that somebody got a grant from some idiot government to do it. So in the first study of its kind, the researchers carried out an in-depth audit of various sandwiches throughout their life cycles, the sandwich life cycle. And they found that the triangular meals could be responsible for the equivalent annual carbon emissions of 8.6 million cars in Britain alone. Let me translate this for you. Researchers, scientists at the University of Manchester have discovered that sandwiches in the UK could be responsible for as much automobile pollution as 8.6 million cars. Now, this is insane. This is genuine insanity to compare the sandwich and the life cycle of a sandwich. Now, what this means is, okay, bread has to be made, whatever is it lettuce, ham, uh, turkey, uh, cheese? They examined how all of the ingredients in a series of sandwiches came to exist, went to market. They ran the numbers and they found out this is equivalent to blaming McDonald's for climate change because they need cattle for beef and cattle fart methane, which destroys the climate. What they're doing here is simply transferring that kind of lunatic thinking to the creation of sandwiches. And now they come up with this glittering stat that sandwiches have a large carbon footprint. And I tell you, there's going to be my little tech bloggers are going to eat it up. They're going to buy it. They're going to think it's true. In 1762, the fourth Earl of Sandwich rocked the culinary world when he couldn't be bothered to leave the gambling table to eat. He ordered the, ster- the servants to just stick some meat between two slices of bread for him. Since then, the modern sandwich has become one of the most popular food formats. It's a food format. And this Earl of Sandwich guy is now being blamed. All the way back in 1760, because the guy was a lazy gambler and refused to leave the tables to eat, his slave servants had to bring him stuff that became sandwiches which now cause climate change. You think they're not losing their minds? They're losing their minds on the other side, folks, and we're watching it happen to them with a smile on our face.